Point of entry to start ammo first round weapon ammo. Nice. Yeah, it's a good spot. Um, all right. What are we thinking? Let's reset our tick bar. We can chase after another tick towards 99 today if we want to do more chaos. We can go back to the tunnels and hope it does better for us this time. Pindle was actually doing really well. I was hearing you. But let's do some chaos. Time for Maggot Lair. That is not one of the options. Let's go for a tick and then we'll go tunnels. Why do you type slash players ten times, Mr. Llama? Well, good question. Let's start with Llama story time. Tell us the story of how Bagel Girl got her name. I just saw the clip of you finding Curial Might. Oh, that's a pretty boring one. I was doing MVS and I wanted a bagel. And then she showed up at my place and brought a bagel. It's very nice. It was one of those I was like, huh, I'd want a bagel. And then she walked in about three seconds later and was like, I brought you a bagel. So, good timing on her part. RNG prof. Thank you. But I do the players so that it sticks in between games. Right? Because you can always, whenever you press enter up, it'll bring the last thing you sent. But it doesn't stick between games. Unless you type it, I think it's like seven times. I always just do ten. I don't remember the exact number. And if you do that, then when you enter a new game, you can just press enter up, and it will stick between games. So, who knows? Just a wonky way the game works. Thank you, RNG. Thank you, Nighthawk. See, so now I can change to player seven. We're doing a Hardcore Hell Summon Necro speedrun on Sunday. More Hell Summon, or more Hell Necromancers, man. Chad is just going crazy for him. Chat was just going crazy. See, so now I start the new game and I can immediately go up and it'll bring players there. So I don't have to type it in again. If you don't spam it, you'll have to type it in again every time you start a new game. <laughs> Full screen Diablo 2 is terrible anyways. Until there's some remaster that fixes it and brings in a full screen windowed mode that like works well. But better resolution is Necro trash. Power llama laughing face. It's where it's at. Necro Power! Skeletons agree. Yeah, seriously. I mean, we've done so much necromancer. We did Did we do necro for the last MVS? Oh no. Oh, I'm dropping frames. Oh, that's not fun. Hopefully that doesn't continue today. Hey Chicago, how you doing? <laughs> it's true, Camel, that is the alternative, I suppose. Oh no. That's the Bing Su or whatever, right? What rune was that? I didn't see. Am? Jaw? <laughs> Sorry. I can't carry anymore. Am. Gross. Yeah, I've always been a big sneezer. I once got sent to the principal's office for sneezing too loud. 
but like, bro, that ain't intentional, man. Just Bless you. happens. Thank you. How are you doing, Walker? Uh, I don't do okay runs very much. They bore me a lot, but if you're trying to rush for some runes, it's the best place to do it. Go tell the principal what you did. Pretty much, yeah. And then I showed up and I was like, sorry, I sneezed really loudly. And he was like, well, you shouldn't be a distraction to the other students. So it sounds like you were doing that on purpose. And I was like, no, I really just sneezed loudly. And he was like, well, just try and keep it down. It, was, it wasn't a very intense. <laughs> Thank you, SNT. Wasn't a very intense conversation. It's kind of like I used to have a uh, basketball coach who wouldn't let you leave practice until you were like sweating through your shirt. It was back in middle school. And he was like, you ain't, if you ain't sweating, you ain't trying. But, like, I just don't sweat very much when I work out. Like, I glisten a little bit, but, you know, I don't like... My shirts never really get wet or anything, unless it's just, like, crazy hot outside. We were in a gym, and it was air-conditioned and stuff. So he would get mad at me every single day. Every day. Didn't matter where I was finishing and the runs, anything like that. He'd always be I would like, like to hear more stories of student llama. Also, I DM you that Chipotle sauce video on Discord. I can try. Do some I of this. I just wish there was crunchy mayo in it. Oh, that's disgusting. Thank Apex. He'd always do this. Ooh, Jewel, what is it, boys? Also, Saigon's everybody drink. He'd always go, Shimtelli. Get over here. Now, uh, I just. Don't understand why you don't want to work hard. I try every single day to get you to work out. And you don't sweat. And I don't know why. You don't want to work. I'm going to... I'm just going to have to call it. And tomorrow we'll try again. Don't worry, Lama. You but I want you to come up. With me. I, I want you to work you hard. Sweat. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee you will live lol. It's fair. I've done college workouts. Go down to O Shag Hennessy's office and tell him exactly what you did. Who? O Shag Hennessy. <laughs> Principal Oshani. <laughs> ah! Four three poison. Disgusting. Uh, where's my poisons here? Disgusting. Die. Ugh, that's awful. But yeah. He'd say, Shimichelli, come, come here. I want you to go shit on the sideline over there. Sorry, you want me to what? Just go shit on the shot. I, I, I can't look at you no more. <laughs> oh, that was my basketball coach. Is there a Aaron here? A Aaron? So no a Aaron then? No a Aaron? Uh, do you mean Aaron? Son of what uh, was that good heavens you should be an actor. Thank you. Uh he just had a slight speech impediment. That's all. <laughs> I'm not making fun of it. That was just Why how he talked. Sound a bit Dutch? That was just how he talked. So I'm just trying to accurately uh is that is that considered rude? I don't know. Like I'm not trying to make fun of him. Probably. I'm just trying to like give the character 
all of the traits of the character. And that just kind of brings me back to the story a little bit more. Watching these ads every channel is really annoying. Well, I don't run ads, so you just have the one, I guess, when you start. That's the other thing. If I did run ads, we could get rid of pre-rolls, but then we would have the ads rolling. Rama is an actor. He acts every day. He likes like there is an item actually called Mang Song, so we keep watching. He also acts like there is no restraining order. Not. He also acts body straight. Yeah, I don't know. It just went with the character because he'd always tell you to go shit, go shit down. I want you to go home. Shit with your parents. Think about what you did. Here we always go. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna do what with my parents? Did I ever sit down and think about what I did? You mean worked hard but just didn't sweat because I don't sweat a lot? Yeah, I thought about it. I had a science teacher that would mess with kids who fell asleep in class. One time, this kid fell asleep Maybe and he was SMT. propping his head up with his hands on his cheeks and the teacher walked up and picked the front of his desk <laughs> and he moved his arms and smacked his forehead on the table. Oh, jeez. Ooh, death left the mark. Oof. Oof. Nowadays, I could see fired. Can't do that no more. That's funny though. Them dang kids these days want to be treated with respect. Dude, I remember those days though where you were just so tired. And it was just, especially like after lunch, if you had like a class right after lunch. Oh my god. Those days were the absolute worst to try and be in a classroom. I mean, it wasn't even worth it. Like, they should just let you go or something. I don't even know. I don't know what the solution is, but. Get him. Come here. Do I think they'll remaster it? I'm leaning towards yes. See away, still red and jaw. That's a pretty good day. There's no window locking without a third party program. But you know those days. It'd be like this. You'd be sitting there and you'd be like trying to pay attention. <laughs> oh god during chess lessons no way man this is why I always get hot chess teachers that way I don't fall asleep Dang it! That was a joke! No! Gosh. 
a joke. Don't. That's why Papa Botez gave me a lesson. It's great. Diablo cosplay, that's right. I started playing Diablo when I was probably 11-ish. My parents wouldn't let me play it because it was rated M, but my friend's parents didn't care, and they actually loved to play it with their kids. So it was great. Yep. They always called it baby necking. So glad that's not the reality anymore. Baby necking. I would have thought that's a abusive parent term. I'm not gonna lie. What are they in prison for? Baby necking. Nah, yep. Can't do that. Don't throw the baby. Do not shake the baby. You're upset. It won't stop crying. Do you shake the baby? No. Do not shake the baby. It's 4 a.m. The baby has woken you up for the ninth time in a row. You're exhausted. Do you shake the baby? No. You do not shake the baby. <laughs> nice s and <laughs> Then the rating system came out and ruined all that. My parents were uncertain about getting me StarCraft because it, it was rated T and I wasn't a teen yet. Hey Llama, I got a press pass to E3 this year from my old job. Thinking of doing some Diablo 2 cosplay when I go. Nice. I am planning on dressing up as a depressed llama holding a poetry notebook and a worn out mouse from unproductive magic finding. Fox, help me. Understood, Mr. Llama, shaking the baby right now. <laughs> no, do not. No baby shaking. Archon plate, hummus. But. Diablo or er, StarCraft actually used to be rated M. And then it was rated T. And I don't know when the shift exactly occurred. But I have both a case that says M on it and a case that says T on it. Oh yeah, my parents would definitely not let me play GTA. So once again, I went to my friend's house and played it there instead. That was the nice thing about friends' houses. Their parents didn't care. My parents made me eat healthy all the time. And so I'd go to my friend's house and we would just pig out on Pop-Tarts and all the terrible things. Fresh meat. It was great. Thank you, Tassada. Nice, speaking of StarCraft. Hey, don't rub it in, Naz. Come on, man. It's not nice. We're working on it, all right? We're working on it. It's been a long year. How's Valorant going? much for another druid hardcore speed run what do you mean like a normal 
druid, a hell druid, a survival druid, uh, what's the... I went to Nightmare? I pressed H! Rip map. Alright, well, let's reset our maps today. Those maps weren't finding it, so... Let's find a new tunnels. Rip maps. Fatality. It's okay. We needed a reset on those anyways. Wait, what am I doing in the far away? It's Lost City. A gift for you. New seed, new you. N takes you to nightmare. H takes you to hell, so... They're right next to each other on the keyboard. Why they gotta be so close, man? Hell Druid Elemental. So just like a regular speed run, you're saying? Is Chess Girl your new girl? No, come on, that's, don't be silly. R is renormal. Don't be silly. Thanks, Vicus. Look, we are friends who both enjoy a nice game of chess. No, it's for Renormal Rooster. Renormal. Did the experience bar move? No, we haven't ticked yet. We're still waiting on that one. Chess is boning. Hey, watch it, Mariano. That's a ban. Can two people not play a game of chess together? Ah, fresh meat. That's my question. Okay, there we go. Tunnel, let's check out the tunnel. Is that so against the law? Thank you, yo punk. Nope, still haven't socketed it. Boss is that, dude? Yikes. This might be a bad map. Let's see. Will be first nine nine. Yep. All right. Let's see if the boss groups get better. For a couple runs. One there. Two there. Three in this corner. There's a lot of like tiny areas. Kind of stinks. I like the little open areas more. Easier to see. Nothing in there. This map's not looking good. Yeah, this is a reset. Not enough bosses in here. What do you think about Zoo Stream interacting with the llamas? That'd be fun. Okay. Let's reset that map. I don't like it. Try and find a better one. Maybe. Cool. 
I actually like starting out going to the top left first. End of an era. Yeah, we've we've had that map for many, many months now. It was time to let it go. It had its chance to drop Mang Song. It didn't. It was time to move on. Already digging this map if we can start with three bosses. Oh, come back frames. Nice, got the double group in this one. All right, that's probably our map. This is probably the map that will drop us Mang Songs. Now I just gotta figure out how I wanna run it. Yes. It did drop a lot, but they didn't roll. It was very annoying. Okay, so. How do we wanna run this map? Probably like here, there. And like that is my guess. Or like this. It's kind of an annoying pattern. But. Yeah, only bosses and their minions can kill can drop Mang songs, nothing else can. It's very sad. Am I not looking for a perfect map? Well, I'm looking for a map that's really good. And by really good, I mean it's going to give me enough boss groups. And this one seems like it will. The map needs to be able to spawn that eight boss groups. And this one looks like it can, so. You can drop it off minions, but you can't drop it off anything other than a boss or its minions. So. Yeah. Mausoleum is just horrible. It's such a terrible place to run. I know Dobrunsky found his Mang songs in there. I don't care. It's an awful run spot. Just double check that. So little bosses, so spread out. Ugh. Just terrible. Follow this goal. Just do pits. Yeah, I may have done pits before as well. The thing is, it's not changing. These bosses in the pits don't have better drop chances than the bosses in the tunnels, than the bosses in the mausoleum, or the Chaos Sanctuary. They all have the same chances for main songs. So that was already three boss groups right there. And now we have four, five. Yeah, Infector's minions can drop it. Infector cannot drop it. It's kind of funny. Six. Seven. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good map. Not here. I'm gonna be happy when I find it. I mean, Pindle's probably a little easier to get into the groove with, but I don't know if I'd say he's faster exactly. He's he's about the same speed for this character on doing this. You could maybe say a tiny bit faster. But he's also very bland in his running. So, 
New layout's weird. It is a little weird. But it's not bad. Where can I take you? I mean, an MF Barb has a pretty big advantage because he can do the same thing and then just pop the body. So it's not quite two times as fast, but dang if it ain't kind of close. Chess cannot drop it, no. using MF Barb because I made a sorceress at the start for this character and I never added any other characters. Good day. By the way, on next Thursday, or this upcoming Thursday, we are going to be collabing with Photo Chess. And we'll do some more Diablo 2 and then some chess, kind of the same, you know, split, split. And this is all to get set up for our battle royale of female chess streamers that we're working towards. It will be epic! Where's Act 2 with the Botez sisters? I don't know if we ever need to torture ourselves with this again. Um, no, I just accidentally reset the maps. We can go back here. Not a dating stream at all. This is a stream with another streamer whose gender is irrelevant. It has nothing to do with any of this. Just having a fun collab. That's all. MVS at the Botez Sisters? How, do, how would that even work? Are they just there to scream and be loud? I do a collab with Chiyu anytime soon? Uh, I mean, that'd be fun. She seems pretty decent at games. Send her a message, see if she's down for it. It'd be good, because then we can get her to fight the Botez sisters and crush them. We'll have to do a tournament style brackets and pair them up against each other. Thank you, Chicago and Yo Punk. Let's see you both. Mwah. I really don't like them? No, they're great. They're wonderful streamers who, you know, do streams. Great. Shogir Go Stream. I haven't played any Shogi or Go. Maybe a tiny bit of Go. I think I've played a couple games, but. Yeah, like we do Llama and Diablo and Chill streams here, you know? It's a, we're a relaxed place.
make Pit Zerker for Mangs? Believe me, I want to. Maybe for when we need to get the Eth Mangs for our Eth Grail, then we'll have a Pit Zerker go after it. You thought Chad excels at Roasting Llama? What? I'm sorry, I think you're in the wrong channel. Chat is only kind here. I can't remember the last time I got a message that wasn't, hey Mr. Llama, you're my favorite streamer, you're doing a great job. Also, you don't have a restraining order, and any girl would be lucky to have you. And I appreciate the sacrifice you've made of not having a family at this time so that we can continue enjoying your content. It's really just this, I mean, it's so sweet. These are the things I tell myself. Thank you, Force. Took the words right out of your mouth. I know. Also, all of these collabs you're doing are totally not dates, and they're totally appropriate. Thank you. It's great to see you reaching out to other streamers and collaborating with them to introduce them and their communities to Diablo 2 so we can grow the community. That's really creative and smart of you. And totally legit. Collabo dating. Got it. Rating. Thank you, Nighthawk. The D2 community doesn't need to get bigger. Look, I'm saying we can stay how we are, or we can get a bunch of kids in here to, to spam Pepegas all the time. Which would you prefer? Ah, it's okay, thanks, Flip. Exactly, Pepega. Gonna have the young kids doing the flossing on Battle.net, that's right. That'll be a new skin thing they add in to remaster. You can make your character dance and floss. Thank you, Jensen. Thank you, Excalibur. MTX dances. Flossing was last year. What about the orange citrus? Is that what it's called? Yeah, you should have binged it. Orange Justice? Oh, close enough. Fresh meat. Mr. Big! Thank you so much. Collab with Swedish streamer Gabby, she's really funny. What does she stream? Okay, Boomer dances pre-order bonus for a season pass on the D2 remaster. <laughs> oh, I will immediately quit. Orange is a citrus. It made sense in my mind, okay? It's the Boomer in me. I'm over 
What does Gabby play though? I don't know this Gabby. Carrots and lemon juice? I have not. That's weird. I can't carry I mean, we're not looking for crazy whatever people to collab with. I'm just looking, you know. I just want to collab with fun, positive people. Like, Sam was great. That was a great time. Anna was great. The Botez sisters were a collab, you know? So, just like, it was great to collab with so many streamers. Gabby streams Valorant, Fortnite, Apex. Ah, no wonder I have no clue there. <laughs> I don't watch any of that. Jmod. I am overburdened. Not even death can save you from me. I found a gaze. Would have been nice to have it F. She's online right now. Two traps, 20 fast run walk. Oof, that would be great in a speed run. Twitch. Gabby. But you don't like this one? I kind of like this one, though. Like, there are some things that could have been better if you put it like that, but I still like it, you know? She has text-to-speech just, like, right in the middle of her stream. That's so distracting. Wow, Arthur. First off, I'm pretty certain that everybody that I have collabed with is smarter than me in the past, like, three weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and, and go with that. Wow. It's for deaf people? Yeah, no, I understand that. I'm just saying it's like really in the middle. Like it's, I, it's blocking the gameplay. Who did I collab with four weeks ago? Nobody, that's why. More tail collabs, those are always fun. Everybody loves our angry German.
Hey, it's okay. I play video games for a living. I know that I'm not the sharpest tool. I've said that too many times. I need a new expression. Three runes. Where's the Zod? I know I'm not the brightest guy. There's a reason we play video games. It's all good. Math girl is carrying cancer right now. And Corona. And I'm playing a 20 year old video game. It is the Bing Siz Wang. That's it. It's not the Bing Su. It's the Bing Siz Wang. Sharpest bulb in the shed. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I've used that expression too many times. Not the straightest arrow in the quiver, exactly. Yeah, you're not going to see the uh, equipment for this. Won't read. I'm a picnic basket short of a picnic. Keeping all the people isolating at home entertained. You're one of the heroes too, Lama. Don't put yourself down, champ. Hey, man. I'm not saying I'm not doing a great job. I'm very proud of everything. I'm just saying, you know, there's smarter people out there. You don't have to be the smartest person in the world to be a hero. Those are your words. And also the dying puppies that I saved from their burning buildings words. Also, when you see Alex in here, make sure to say that again if you want. If you want, you know, whatever. I'm a Taleth short of a stealth, exactly. Not the sharpest wrench in the toolbox. You get it. You get it. There's various degrees of being smart in different ways, right. My way is kind of like a little, uh... Rain Man memorization, you know, sit there and just recite Pi, do nothing, but it's great. Thank you, Kali. I'm more of an I.O. Doll Wand kind of guy. <laughs> That's right. Somebody is like, so what use do you have for memorizing that many digits of Pi? And I'm like, well... When you tell me your phone number, I can remember it immediately and for the rest of my life. So that when we get married, I, you never had to tell me your phone number again. It's usually my go-to pickup line when they ask about Pi. It doesn't have a great success rate, but I think they're just not understanding it. It's a little complex. I can find your phone number in Pi. Just tell me what it is, and I'll tell you where it is in Pi. Oh, that's a great way to get a girl's number. Dang. That's that's a great way to get a girl's phone number. Smart. I'm using that. I'm going to use that. Good call. That's the best use of for pie I've ever heard in my life. Lama SC, the man who remembers 500 digits only to remember 10. 
<laughs> 628 digits. Thank you very much. Probably hold off on the marriage and children talk till at least the second date. Nah, then she thinks you're just trying to, you know, you're being too casual. Girls want a guy who's serious at my age. I'm almost 30. I've already picked out my coffin. I wrote my will. And I'm gonna let them know. In it for the long run here. Because they're the best that I can get at this point. And then he wonders why this restraining order make us appeared with these pickup packs. I am overburdened. Thank you. SNT and Mr. Chowder. Llama, you know hey. you found your dream girl when you ask her I know all these digits of Pi to help find your phone number. And she replies, do you need a blueberry or raspberry Pi? Hash value <laughs> in the same league. That would be good. 628 is basically 100 times tau. Coincidence? No, it was not a coincidence. It was very intentional. <laughs> and then at the very end of reciting, I said, and now I've come full circle. And it was a bad joke, but, you know, it was a good joke for a guy who memorized 628 digits of pi. My math teacher laughed a lot, so that was good. <laughs> so. I, it's a great way to end it. Yeah, it was my senior year. I was finishing out the competition for the last time. I thought it was good. Once again, for for a guy who's sitting there reciting a bunch of digits of pi, I think that's the best he can do, you know? <laughs> I think that's the best we can do. What competition? Oh yeah, so this originally started because my school on Pi Day would have a Pi reciting competition. And so I wanted, my friend was like, hey, let's join the Pi reciting competition. I bet you can't, like, let's both memorize 20 digits of Pi or something like that. And so we did that. And then I just kept going with it because I have an addictive personality or something like that. I don't know. And then the next thing I knew, we had a lot more digits memorized. So I did 314 the first year. Diablo pickup lines. Hey girl, are you a rare arch and staff? Because I've been searching for you my whole life. Did we just find a new S? There's no way. There's no way. I am overburdened. And then I did 500 the next year. And then they didn't have it the third year because it was on like a weekend and I don't know, stuff came up. Something like that. And then senior year I did 628. A gift for you. Okay, let's go check out our impaler. Shabam! Mr. Lama, 628 nice. digits of pi as weak. I know all of the digits of pi in no particular order. <laughs> 3, 4, 7, 5, 1, yep. 9, 2, 0, 6, 8. Those all, that is all of the digits. That is correct. F Impaler, we did it, boys. We did it. That's a new F. Was the first 314 harder or the second 314? Um, the second 314 were harder because you get 3.14. That's a gimme at the start. So it was only like 311, really. Uh, no, to be honest, it was harder because I had a lot less time. To do it. I memorized the last 300. Like the first 314 I spent like 
a week and a half memorizing. Maybe, yeah, something like that. And then the last 314, I spent like a day and a half memorizing because it just came up on me and I had a lot to do. And so I was like, well, I got to get to 628. So I just crammed in Pi. Pi is infinite, Mariano. All right, new S item. That brings us to 101 eth items to go wow 101 we're doing it no this suit did not get washed after the last stream it needs a wash now i do cram well that is one of my specialties get your pie is three logic out of here. I don't want to hear it. Pi is infinite. Could still finish reciting before I find Mang Songs. Ouch. Ouch. I have zero F Tomb Reavers. I have found so many. Do E next? Yeah. I don't know. The next number I memorize is going to be a girl's phone number. That's all I can say. I am If I find Mang Songs in, in this suit, I can't wash it again. I'll probably just hang it up. I'll frame it and I'll hang it up in the background. Would it be harder to recite Tau? No, it'd be the same. It's just random strings of numbers. So, like, with no pattern. So, it'd be the exact same. Like... <laughs> Do you get me half halfway through Pi and halfway through Tau? I'm not, not none's gonna be harder or easier to memorize. Steiner promo? What? Delivery place, don't do that. Come on now. <laughs> Just watch the video. Am I gonna get a copyright strike if I watch it? I memorized uh, just using a series of patterns. So it basically went like this. I just set up my own patterns for Pi and then and then memorized off of that. So we'll just go right here. So I just went 8979 I kind of did that. 75105820. Like, uh, oh yeah, let me, uh, this is going off the screen, so let me do this. Kind of like this. Oh, God. So I just created my own patterns in um, in Pi as I was memorizing that were like easier for me to 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 think about it, right? So I I usually did twos or fours. Obviously, sometimes you'd have strings that were like fives or threes that kind of made sense. So. 
Actually, that 3 2 was with that. Join my army of the dead. Wow, Llama, my phone number is in there, K-E-K-W. <laughs> See, I told you it is. Um, yeah, and then, so, you know, 75105820, that just kind of, like, flows off the tongue very easily. Right? It gives some perspective. Um, 433832. Whatever. And then, like I said, things that just didn't go together at all. Seven nine five zero. There's no relation to any numbers between them and stuff on either side of it, um, and so that was the thing, right? But one point three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three. Seven five one zero five eight two zero. It's just like stuff that has something like three two three eight. So it's the same thing next to each other. A, a thirty next to each other. Three x three x. Eight nine seven nine four three three eight three two. You're just kind of repeating that three in there, and so it, you just kind of and it's like four eight and two. So those are evens that are kind of easy to go with. Two eight eight four. Uh, blah blah blah. Whatever. It has a rhythm to it exactly. So I just created a rhythm and then and then kind of just recited off the um the that way. So I found that easy. Some people like to do it in like blocks of threes. And so everything is a block of three and they assign some sort of um meaning to the number. So one four one, five nine two, six five three, you know, five eight nine. And then, like, each one of those, they give, like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Or they do, like, blocks of four, and, like, in 14, 15, blah, blah, blah happened or whatever. I've, I've seen people do it like that as well. Um, you know, so there's, there's all of that. Um... So like later on in Pi, there's this sequence right here, and this is one that I completely just put as one. Six two six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight. With Pi, but not with Diablo two. Jeez, what say you, sir? A Pi rap battle. Yep. So like this right here is all one rhythm piece right just like i broke things up to like 1415 this right here is like a memorable one because 6 628 6208998628 just has such a flow to it it's just a really like dope sequence um so yeah there's a lot of cool things like this in pi so i oh, know it's just interesting All right, anyways, that's enough pie for today. Help me, nerd. I should move one sequence so I can tell if people are copying me. Nerd. Uh, 0118-999-881-9998. Nine, Don't let you nine, be told otherwise. One, You're a poet in math. It's like reciting three. a haiku. Yeah, exactly. So you kind of start out with cadence, and then eventually you like kind of remember it in those sequences, but you're not like you're not like singing it or anything as you're doing it, you know. You just say it pretty boring. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three seven five one zero five eight two zero four nine four four five nine two three. Right, you're just you're just like going through all of it because you're just used to reciting pi, um, and I don't know. You still kind of like uh, I don't know. It's it's just like ingrained, but when you start out, you kind of go one four one five, you know. Nine two, six five three five. Oh, what's the next sequence? Eight nine seven nine. 
What's the purpose? So that 15 years later you can use it to pick up a girl and get her phone number. Obviously. <laughs> Never played the long game before? The name of the song I played in that dance off with Botez. Yeah, it is. Oh boy. Where did I put that? Boom, 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 boom. It's such a funny song. I love it. Uh, no, no, here it is. Don't get me banned. She's only gonna call for financial advice? I'm cool with that. I like giving financial advice. Unless somebody's like, I wanna buy because renting is throwing away money. I am Join my then I just wanna argue with them. Reminds of the find you number in Pi phone number form input. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Love it so much. And then you find that like eight digits and you're like, come on! <laughs> Help me. Would you rent or buy a chess set? Uh, <laughs> it's irrelevant. Not. I'm pretty sure buying a chess set is not an investment that you need for living. Ow. Ooh, rare sacred armor. What's my latest purchase? Chipotle. It's always Chipotle. <laughs> hey, Yorick. <laughs> I am um. What's my latest non-food purchase? Or non-Chipotle purchase? I got sushi a few days ago. Let's see, non-food. I kind of am curious. I didn't buy Diablo, I just rented it. It's only been 20 years of $1 payment. There you go. Smart man. Look, I'm not saying not buying things. It's very different. House versus buying and renting anything else. Not even a discussion to be had. We're not. Ugh. Do I have Chipotle stock? Well, I have broad market stock, so technically yes. But no, I don't own any individual Chipotle stock. So I probably should with how much I eat there. I am overburdened. I definitely keep them afloat. Let's just say that. Another faster run walk. <laughs> they start adding letters to make it more difficult at 10,000. When, if you get married, will you buy or rent your wedding suit? Battle gauntlets? Not it. Still cool though. Uh, why would I... I mean, if I need a suit for multiple purposes, maybe I'd buy it, but I'm probably just renting that thing. Right? Ooh, hold on. What's this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That could be fun. Um, 
Okay, let me look at sign in. Dang it. Oh, I want to go look at my purchases because I'm actually oh, curious. <laughs> Is you got it me worth thinking. it to buy a six by six foot plot of land and put up a tent to save money? Could be. If you're into that lifestyle, go for it. If you're not, that sounds miserable. But if that's your thing. Am I pro rent or pro own? I'm pro whichever one makes the most financial and lifestyle sense for you, and both are viable options. That is what I am saying. There's no one is always right than the other. Do it. All right, let's see. I've bought transactions. Watch what? What is everybody screaming to watch? Should I rent my Cheerios? <laughs> transactions. I got... Um... Nope. 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 That's not. I got Chick fil A. I got groceries. I got sushi. Okay, none of those count. I'm not counting any of my Twitch subs or anything either, because. Join my army of the dead. What is your stance on free real estate? We got, good Lord. Do I buy anything? I got Korean food. I'm also skipping all the Chipotles because, well, obviously. I got more Chipotle. <laughs> nope, nothing there. Free real estate. Uh, I paid my rent. Um, I got Japanese food. Oh, no, that's not clothing. That's somebody who donated is, is named Kenneth Cole. <laughs> so it thinks I bought clothes. <laughs> um, I got, nope, that's not. That's also. When's the last time I bought something? No, that's South African food. Do I go shopping for anything? What the heck? That's sushi again. Bunch of Chipotle's in here. Holy cow. There's my utilities bill. There's more Chipotle. There's my insurance. Um, shopping. May 15th, I spent $10 on Amazon. Wait, no, that was for a giveaway. Uh, that was an Amazon gift card giveaway. I bought a chess.com membership on May 12th. That is the last thing that I've purchased. <laughs> no, I forgot to use the Botas. I don't even think I bought it when I was watching. Oh, no, I, I knew her by then, but. No, I was just buying it. Go 
Good lord. This is sad. All right, I'll watch this promo. Good lord. I'm just like sad right now looking through. <laughs> There's just nothing. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, there you go. I bought one thing in May. A month ago today is the last time I bought something. Um, that wasn't just food or or Twitch bits or subs or something. Um, I did buy Minecraft Dungeons, but I d uh, I don't know if I consider that buying myself something. That was buying something for a collaboration. That's this. Um, okay, it's called Scott Steiner Promo Video. What is this? The math one? Is this what you're wanting us to watch? All right. What are we watching? Let's turn it down a little bit. Steiner, it's going to be a three-way for the TNA heavyweight title at Sacrifice between you, Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe. Now, before you get there, you have an important step tonight as you and X Division champion Petey Williams take on the unlikely duo of Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Small Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. <laughs> But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me and he's not even going to try. So, Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one-on-one -on -one, and then add 66 and two-thirds percents. I got a 141 and two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. <laughs> See, but I'm going to break it down for all you ladies. Would you rather be with me, or would you rather be with Joe? Well, I think Joe's kind of nice. I mean, you know. See, you're one of those girls that like romance. I'm going to talk to all my freaks out there. Would you rather come home to me, a genetic freak, to be satisfied every night, or go home to that fat-ass small Joe? <laughs> See, tonight, we're going to win, and I'm going to be the world champion at sacrifice. Come on, P. Hey, let's go. Scotty, just like you always say, Big Papa Pump has got your hookup. Well, Maple Leaf Muscle is who you need to look up. Holler if you hear that. <laughs> math doesn't lie, man. The math does not lie. <laughs> I feel smarter now that I've watched that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Mama. <laughs> and it spells disaster for you. Now you know how wrestling works. Yep. <laughs> that That's it. <laughs> Did he lose? <laughs> well. That makes it a little harder. 
It's a good promo. He was working hard with those numbers, you know? He should have just kept going. And now, you take the, your chance of losing, and we, and we add that on top, and so now I'm up to 167, and, and, and 9 tenths chance of winning. But then we take uh, me adding in uh, uh, Joe Engel, and, and the, the additional 33 and a third chance that he has, and then we're up to, now we're up to 200% chance that I can keep going. Don't make me keep going. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> the hunt for the Mang. Maybe we'll find a nice rune today. Like the low rune we found yesterday. Oh, hello. What marks a creative dater? Me. Me is creative dater. When I was in high school, you know, you would ask the girls to prom in cute ways. So I made, I, I sewed a blanket and on it it said, will you go to prom with me? I think it just said prom. Didn't want to sew that much. And then took her out for a picnic at a beautiful place and it was wonderful. And then when senior year came around, it was a little awkward when I had to ask for it back so I could use it on my next girlfriend, but it worked again for my next girlfriend. She also loved it. Two times the charm. And that's being creative. Well, she wasn't gonna use it anymore. What's she gonna do with the prom blanket? You prom me what? I was driving the other day through my neighborhood and I pulled up the stoplight and I was listening to some pretty ratchet music pretty loudly. Yep. And this homeless guy came up to my window and startled me. And I was like, can I help you? And he was like, man, I love this song. And we fist bumped and I drove off. Nice. Pretty good. Do you have any normal stories? Like going to a barbecue or going fishing with friends? Oh, it's just sugar and eggs and prom invitation blankets. Oh my. Help me. What incarnation is a prom blanket? It's a blanket that I sewed and I sewed the words prom into it. And then I unfolded it when we went to the Arboretum and there were a lot of pretty flowers all around. It was very romantic, both times. That's what a prom blanket is, obviously. My wife said you need to get out more. That's what I was doing was getting out more. I can't carry anymore. My goodness. Not even death can save me. Thank you, knives. I'm just saying, they both enjoyed it very much. People like that, that sweet stuff.
Just do the prom blanket thing again and you'll find someone? Well, I'm... I'm not asking anybody to prom anymore. <laughs> I've made a few blankets in my life. Quilts, whatever you want to call them. Chipotle has single Wednesdays? Ooh, wait, really? Because if I could meet a girl who's as into Chipotle as I am, baby, baby, we got something there. Every one of our dates is no longer, there's no longer a fight about where are we going to eat? Where do you want to go today? I'm bored. We just get in the car and we already know. I already had a Chipotle guy. Yeah, but I didn't realize that he was gay. And that's why he was giving me free burritos. Because he wanted to date me. That was unfortunate. I kind of wish that I had just remained ignorant of that situation. <sighs> yeah, we're doing players one in here. I could be gay for free burritos? It's kind of my thoughts. Help me! A girl that is into Chipotle like you are but only plays Diablo 3, or a girl that absolutely loves Diablo 2 like you do, but hates Chipotle? Probably they gotta love Diablo 2. If she loves Diablo 3, uh, she just clearly is mentally not all there, you know? If she doesn't like Diablo 2, or Chipotle, like, okay, her taste buds aren't great, but at least she's she can still be a smart person. Bagel girl liked Diablo 3. And you know, she was a sweetheart, but. It's tough. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just. I don't know why Chipotle guy thought that I was gay. Like, what, is there anything about me that's like, hey, this guy's probably gay? But, I did enjoy the free burritos for a while. Why would I wear this to Chipotle? It's, well, one time, but that's because we came from skating practice. That's irrelevant. It's not what we're talking about. Uptick in subs during Pride Month. Hey, man. What would you do for a Chipotle burrito, right? That's all I'm saying. What if the girl likes Diablo 2 but hates Chipotle? Does that mean you have a 66 and 2 thirds chance of asking her out? <laughs> well, you see, I have that chance, which makes her, she has a 33 and a third chance then of not being asked out. But then, you bring in my, in a one-on-one -on -one scenario of me asking her out, if you bring in a friend as well, then it, uh, there's a 25% chance that, and so you add that to my 66 and two-thirds chance. Hey B, is this the only game that I play? Uh, not fully, but this is what I main. So this is my main game. I also play a little bit of chess lately. Just suddenly found an interest in chess, the game. No other feature of it, just the chess strategic game. 
And we played some StarCraft here and there. We played some AoE on stream before. Um, you know, we bounce around and, and do some things. We played some Minecraft Dungeons, played some PoE. So we, we do some stuff here. Come on. Yeah, what are you making fun of me for, Camel? You're addicted as well. If you invite the girl to Chipotle, but she always orders extra guac, will you continue inviting her to Chipotle, or will you split the bill? Uh, neither. If she gets extra guac, then she's paying for her own order. Because, you know, that's not... That's rude to go in and order the bonus extra guac and then expect me to pay for it. She's also welcome to pick up the whole tab there. If she wants, that would also be acceptable. Because whenever you add on the extra, you know, bonus pieces, it's good to pick it all up. To say, hey, I'm not going to put this extra 250 on you. This was my fault. Never been? I'm sorry. So good. Boundaries have to be set. I'm just saying. You pay for it once. Thank you, Giuseppe. You give a girl a free guac. And then she wants the chips to go with it. And then you get the chips, and now she wants one of those $4 kombucha drinks or whatever. And then you get that, and now she wants to go out for dessert afterwards. And then you do that, and now she wants to come back to your place. And you're like, hey, get out of here. Come on. Gross. Is guac expensive in the U.S.? Like, unless you're coming back, back to play D2. Scram. Plus, when you do all of this stuff, now she's no longer, you know, she looks at you and she goes, eh, I, this guy is not financially well-minded. He just bought me a nice, you know, thing of guac. Thank you, Epsilon. <laughs> he just spent money on guac, and then he spent money on kombucha, and then he spent money on dessert and wine. He's not financially responsible. I don't want to be with this guy. So you, if that's the, the trap you fall into, it's like a chess trap, right? It's a gambit. They give up a little thing and then they fool you. Please, I have magic finding to do unless you have a Mang song. Right. GTFO. Exactly. So that's why you don't I give her guac in the first one place. Michelin star Mexican restaurant. I paid over 20 euros for nachos and guacamole, but man, let me tell you the handmade nachos and the perfectly done guacamole will forever be burned in my memory as one of the tastiest things I've ever eaten. Wow. See, that sounds worth it. Yep, it's the old bait and switch. So if she ever asks for extra guac, you say, hey, that's kind of expensive. Do you mind picking up your own tab today? And instantly right there, she'll fall for you. She'll be like, wow. This guy is going to make sure that we live a, a frugal life and have enough money to put food on the table. But not the expensive food, you know, like dollar menu items and stuff. Well, if she smuggles in her own guac, hey, that's good. That's totally fine. You're always allowed to smuggle some guac in. Ow. 
Women love frugality. Exactly. They don't want a guy who's just going to go throw all their money away on them. They want a guy who's going to tell them no and save it all. 313. Oof. Almost has. Almost really good. They want you to have enough money to die with millions in the bank. Yep. Another Eth Gladius. Is it another perfect one? Nope. Two, three. You want me to be really frugal on the engagement ring? Ugh, don't get me started with engagement rings. My ex-girlfriend, we were talking about that. And she was all about getting some really expensive diamond, you know. And I was like, look, diamonds are a scam, blah, blah, blah. You know, I sent her all the links about it. Didn't matter. She wanted it. I was trying to talk to her about all the synthetic things we could get. Not supporting. No. I was like, look, tell me your favorite non-diamond gem. And we'll get some glass that looks like it. You know? I don't know what more she could have asked for. What if she likes Diablo 2, likes Chipotle, invites you back to her place? Asks you to get some chips from the pantry before some Netflix and chill and you open it up to see crunchy peanut butter. I mean, do you need an answer? We're done. Like, <laughs> that better be her mom brought it over and she forgot to throw it away or something like that. That's all I can say. If you're going to buy a diamond, you better make sure it's a conflict diamond where kids have suffered to dig it out of the earth with their bare hands. Otherwise, it's a waste of money. Exactly. And that's what she was wanting. And I was not wanting to buy a conflict diamond. But she was like, you're just saying that because you don't want to spend, you know, six grand on a wedding ring. And I was like, or an engagement ring. And I was like, yeah, I also don't want to do that. But this also isn't something that I want to buy anyways. You know, it's a twofer. Is, am I cheap? Was I looking at $200 engagement rings? Sure. Of course I was. But... Would you rather uh, you get a down payment on a car, or would you rather have a nice diamond ring? She said a nice diamond ring, but I think she wasn't thinking clearly. It's a rock. Why am I paying thousands for a rock? Perfectly good <laughs> rocks out in the yard already, Kappa. Thank you, Camel. My wife left me, is it wrong to ask for the engagement ring? I mean, probably, I don't know. What are you gonna do with it? Like, go pawn it for a little bit? For me, I, I would just leave it and just say, forget about it. Cut your losses, you know. You can, you can ask for it back if you want. I don't think it's the end of the world if you do, it's not crazy if she left then yeah maybe that's a little more reason exactly get Ymir's die alone because we are the, the girls don't understand us <laughs> perfect SMT if she leaves you right when you give it to her, then ask for it back. If it's still in the engagement phase, I don't think asking for it back if she leaves is, is bad at all. If you've been married for maybe even a short amount of time, I don't think so. If you've been married for a while, you know, at that point, I don't know.
some women understand gamers, they do exist? Nah, I don't know. Maybe I just need to work on my social and dating game. Nah, it's the women who are wrong. I am overburdened. Yeah, that's right. It's them who are wrong. Trash. Well, if Taylor Swift secretly enjoys crunchy peanut butter, I would date her and then still be broken up with for a song, you know. It would take marriage out of the picture for me, but I'm really just in it for a get-together song and a breakup song. I hope it's healthy water you're drinking. It's tap water. It's them who are wrong. He says while wearing a sparkle shirt and grinding D2. Look, this... Don't use fire shirt against me. Chat made me do this, okay? I had no power over it. She'll understand that. It's like the one girl that I... We, we had to end things and she said... It's me. I feel like you're dating your chat, so I need you to decide. It's me or your chat. And I went, oof, I really wish you didn't say that. And then that was the end of that relationship. <laughs> I was like, man, that is... That is the, not the correct <laughs> ultimatum to put out there for anybody. Chats the wife wears our ring. We agreed that we don't want to have a dirty ring. You really love us. Yeah. I mean, we just have a much longer relationship than any of my... Oh my god, we are dating. A ring with a perfect chat jam. That's right. Ah, it's so romantic. When am I going to present you to my family? I have. You've talked to my mom. My dad came over the other day. You got to chat with him. Papa Botez got on the stream. That's not my family, but that is a father. So, you know, that's a dad. Just similar. Papa Lama is here. Yeah, he was here on Friday, right? When we did the Anna Kramling stream. Which is up on the YouTube now today. Exclamation mark YouTube for all of Lama's latest content. Go subscribe so we can get 100k subscribers and rub it into my ex-girlfriend's face. Man doesn't work. You spelled YouTube wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> Just guys, it's 
you and two. It's the easiest. How is this so difficult? Have you ever spelled tube T O O B? Has that ever been? <sighs> Just one word. Nope, not live cams, not only fans. Oh no, I did players one. This is terrible to watch. This is embarrassing. Hey, there you go. Look at that. Wow, somebody in chat got it. What a guy. I don't care what my mangs is, as long as it drops. It can be any roll at all. for the wedding ring been married for 12 years nice. and still counting you know they say there's a correlation studied that the more expensive the engagement ring and wedding the more the increased chance of divorce true statement now whether that's just because People can't afford to get divorced? Uh, there might be some piece of that. I didn't look into it enough. Probably some correlation. Everybody I work with because I lived in small town, Oklahoma, right? And so there was nothing to do except get married. So all of my friends got married like immediately I am Pretty much within like two three years <laughs> from when we got our jobs and It was just a like competition of who could spend the most on the engagement ring. Because there's not a lot of expenses either, right? Like, it's Oklahoma, you know, it costs nothing to live there. So, you know, I want to say, like, the lowest engagement ring cost was like five grand, and then, like, a couple dudes spent, like, five figures on them. I'm pretty certain I have an F death bit. Yeah. Twice. Now, thrice. And like, hey, if you're into that, go for it. But like, I was busy playing Magic the Gathering, and I did not have that kind of money to throw on a ring. You know? Camel knows what I'm talking about. While you were getting married, I studied Magic the Gathering. <laughs> New set. Woo. 
Bro, I literally carry an elf deck around with me at all times. My backpack just has an elf set in it. At all times, because you never know. Elf deck. You never know when you're going to fire up a game. Favorite color? Not blue, because blue just sucks and is the worst thing ever to play against. I was never a big fan of black. Um, red's kind of fun. I like white, but I wish it had more. So, it's probably green. Uh, you know, some combination of like white red, white green, something like that. Yeah, green's a little simple sometimes, I agree. And blue can be fun to splash, but man. I don't know, white is just kinda... I'm it, it, it always needs to pair with something, you know? There's good mono red, there's good mono black, there's we good mono green, there's good mono there blue. Types of magic but what's a mono white those deck, that really? Like islands and those that don't know what they are doing, K -E -K -W. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm sure there's a mono white weenie deck or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, like, lame. That's the only thing you really got. Whereas, like, green, you know, you've got dinosaurs, you've got uh, elves, you know, you've got ooze stuff, whatever, you know, there's a ton of things, all that. Just beast decks and stuff. Rare ring. So Yeah, so I mean you use white for you got your sliver stuff. Yeah. White as angels, but does anybody really play like is an angel deck ever been a competitive solid deck as as a whole? Just like a pure white angels deck? No, right? It's... Hi. Hi, Lonely. So, I don't know. That's kind of my problem there. It's like, every other deck you can have, you know, your burn decks, your goblin decks. You can have your, you know, mill decks. Obviously, blue has a ton of stuff. But, like, white just is... It had weenies, that was it. <laughs> a, a while ago. Thank you, Calm. So, it always needs a mix. Now, there's a lot of great mixes with white. You know. White and red is one of my favorite combinations. Thank you, Calm. White and black is also pretty fun to play. He's playing Angel's deck, but it was counterspell based. Yeah, exactly. So, it's just a good, he can join it with anything. Card games are definitely a money pit. Did I tick yet, man? We did tick! Wow, we did it! Look at that, tick! 
I've got a little white tick and you can see it right over here. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, closing in on 99. One step at a time. Yeah, we're actually getting somewhere. I did not pitch him. I have not seen the cow level there yet. No, I gotta go find it still. What's my mercenary wearing for armor and helm? Uh, Andy's in fortitude. We did tick. Feels good, man. Feels good. I got children all over town. Uh, okay. Did Math Girl get me this shirt? No. I borrowed it from a different ex girlfriend. Math Girl would not be into this shirt. She'd be like, stop messing around, Alex. There's people out there this with COVID and we need to save them. Now let's get back to studying. Something like that. You know, she's boring. Thank you, Fast. I thought they didn't date. I dated Math Girl for only a couple months. It didn't take her long to figure out I was pretty dumb. We were in a very different league intellectually. <laughs> very different. Nikki fast and calm. Dang. Nice song. Someday. It's coming someday here. Oh, Lama, you aren't dumb. But somebody once told me that the world was going to roll you and that you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed K-E-K-W. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Well, thank you, Ischu. I'm just saying, she's a doctor of math. And I play a 20-year-old video game. <laughs> I I very much love who I am. Very proud of myself. But I am not a doctor of... I'm a doctor of Diablo. You might call me Dr. Diablo. My dating name. Don't you dare, Bam Astrians. This is where we got our last one. But I have a lot of fun. So, you know, to me, winning life is being happy. I'm a pretty happy guy. Your presence honors me. You tested positive for COVID? Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Are you doing all right right now? 
I mean, you're here, so that's at least good. Again, man. How many Bingses Wangs are we gonna find? Three in a day. PhD in chair building? That's right. She's got nothing on my chair building skills. World record chair builder right over here. <laughs> she definitely could explain how I continue the fourth way all the time. Just a high fever. Drink your water, stay safe. Hoping the best for you, man. Doing a PhD. <laughs> My two by six blocks counts, I'll take it. First time watching live, we'll welcome over Bart. I'm Happy to have you here. Wow. Fresh meat. Thank you, Bart, for the Twitch. Prime. Thought this is pre recorded? That's yesterday. I would still probably be okay with an S. Eth Astrians, I'm not gonna lie. I would be mad, but then I'd be okay with it. I would be mad, but then I'd get over it because that's another eth item for our eth grail And that means we are only eth mangs away from the eth grail and how hard can it be to find an eth mang song? <laughs> it's only 20 times as rare as a regular mang song How hard can that be? If I find it F, I do not have to find it non F. 20 times harder? Yeah, see, this is why Math Girl dumped me. I can't do that math. Too much math. <laughs> Camel. Where can I take you? Is it botting if I'm technically there the whole time? You know, I was trying to find a nickname for Poopy Butts in chat because I figured, eh, let's not say the name Poopy Butts, you know, over and over and over again. And then I was like, well, I could call him Poop for short, but that's not great. I could call him Butts for short, but that's not great. I could call him Poo for short, but that's also not great. I could call him Pee for short, but that's not great. I'm not sure there's any way PB. Thank you. PB. There it is. P butts, that doesn't work either. Pops. It's kind of just doing a different thing. Are you done with this? Only play I, dude, I don't even know if remaster's a thing. And I don't even know how good or bad remastered is. A lot, Chladney. It's a lot. 
Why am I being so toxic? I apologize. I, I was trying to figure it out, and chat helped me out. Ooh, I like when they're white. Those are always, like, really cool. Restarted on remastered? Oh god. Yes. They can't block the old Diablo 2. I've got that bad boy backed up on many drives that they do not have access to. <laughs> you can play this game without an internet connection. So you can always avoid any of the updates they push if they somehow trash it. Ah, fresh meat. Thank you. Appreciate that, Sonic. Welcome to Lamas of the Run. Time for Lama to get to know IT girl. Good Who's day. IT girl? And thank you, PB, for three months. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I know, great tick there, huh? Oh no, we have a PB in chat. Oh no. How much for each tick? What is it? 2.7 million? 2.6 million per tick? Something around there. Let me see. It is, yeah, it's about 2.4 to 2.5 mil. I for one can't wait until Llama finds Mangs and will finally be free to pursue his dream of stream Fortnite full-time pod champ. Is that where we're going to finish it off? Fortnite still be around at that point? I was looking how much experience I have left. Seventy one million experience left. That looks nothing like me. <laughs> yeah, I put two times ist in my uh Alibaba. The best you can get without having a six assisted crystal sword. Help me. If D2 Remaster becomes a reality and is as good as you'd wish, would you read your grail in D2 Remaster? Bam Ed Astrion's Iron I mean, Lord. wouldn't I just be able to somehow copy this character file over to it, maybe? That'd be my hope. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what, how it all works. They're not mod friendly? Well, they should be with Diablo 2, because like three fourths the player base of Diablo 2 plays mods. <laughs> so. Had the rainbow run end yesterday? It was actually good. It was like, what, nine hours and five minutes? Which is only a couple hours longer than the world record for the necromancer. So the fact that a rainbow necro who started out with summons all the way through normal could run that well was 
And with that countess that we had, ugh. Mama, in old age and on his deathbed, makes one last ancient tunnels run to find the elusive ethereal man song's lesson. He right clicks the last boss on the map and sees the golden text, Arch and Staff. Help me! As he breathes his last, he recalls the lost loves, the children that never were, and the first dates that would not be second to chat. Llama looks to the corner of the screen and sees Poggers in chat. Poggers, he says, and he slips away. Poggers. His last words. <laughs> That's a life well worth it. Your presence honors me. I'm not crying, you're crying. Llama streaming from his deathbed. Gonna get it. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna find it. I'm gonna hang on. I will not die until I find this item. And once it drops, I'll just slowly drift away. Poggers. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> World's oldest man, Diablo streamer, vows to never die until <laughs> finding Mang songs. Good day. You know. If 2020's taught me anything, it's that weirder things can always happen. <laughs> Whenever you think, nah, this is the craziest thing, it just keeps going. <laughs> what a year. <laughs> what a year. This, like, is this the start of a terrible decade or just a terrible year? That's the real question. Is everybody going to remember the 20s as just the worst decade to ever exist? Or is it just, remember the year 2020? Because, man. Where can I take you? Not here. The roaring 20s and the terrible 20s, yep. Hard to beat the 40s? I mean, this is true, but we're only at the start. I wouldn't say that right now. If, if the 20s continue like this, <laughs> I think there's definitely it can be beaten. That's all I'm saying. Can I donate JTSP gold? I mean, I don't really use it, but I could maybe find a use for it someday for some giveaways or something. So, you can. But, might be more worth it if you just hold on to it for yourself, you know? <sighs> Yeah, I don't delete my clips, because I don't play music on stream. So. How about we just have a do-over? Next year can be 20202. Frames! Sorry. 
Frames dipped really quick. 20202, I'm down. I'm down. Exclamation mark MF gear. <clears throat> Two or B? I think 20202 is more fun. Who's my favorite band? So my favorite band was 30 Seconds to... I mean, it's bounced around a little bit. It was 30 Seconds to Mars, though. And then I went to one of their concerts. And Jared Leto was so full of himself. And such a bad perform... I just wanted to hear him sing. And it was just like... Oh my god. He was just doing the Jesus on the cross pose the whole time. And... I just was like, all right, well, this is terrible. Yeah, they were horrible live. So I was uh, I was disappointed. So they dropped out from my favorite. I still obviously like their music. I just don't go to their live shows. Um, but Foo Fighters was awesome live. And awesome not live in studio as well. So I'm going to give it to Foo Fighters now. And that's for ban. For performers, I'm probably going with Sia. Her concert brought me to tears, man. Oh. Just gorgeous. What a work of art. What a work of art. Justin Timber Timberlake also put on a great show. I will say that much. That was a fantastic concert. But see his voice in person. Oh my god, it was just so beautiful. I've never like listened to somebody who voice cracks so beautifully. That's that's the that's the best way I can describe see see his like voice. She like intentionally cracks her voice into these notes that are just gorgeous. Ugh. I love it. Another lame day of drops. At least we found a new eth item. That's cool. Nice, Leslie. Yeah. Three doors down and breaking Benjamin. I mean, they're classics, you know. Growing up, just classics right there. I am overburdened. We've been over a year now just on this item. Year and a month, two months. It's been rough. How'd you feel if the remaster fix bugs that exist in the game that become natural to gameplay? I mean, that's what I'm scared of. I don't even think they'll intentionally fix them. I think they'll just be fixed because they're not going to replicate them. You know? So... I just don't want to remaster. Focus on making a good D4 instead. I mean, I would always be okay with that. But there could be new bugs to exploit. I mean, that's true. Hopefully not bad ones, though. Like, big ones where we can skip whole acts or anything. I swear if they come in and they remaster and they just add two zeros to all of the damage types, I'd be so pissed. They're like, now you do a million damage. 
What are my thoughts about Joe Exotic? I mean, the dude's clearly insane, right? It was an entertaining show, but... Seem like a fitting personality type for the kind of people who want to own tigers. I'll just say that much. Impossible. <laughs> Where can I take you? <laughs> exactly a plop. D2 Remaster, Blizz changes Enigma to give Teleport a base damage and a bonus 10 undecillion percent damage <laughs> against demons and undead. Don't say that. Real money auction house in it. Ugh. Don't say it. Bam Astrion's Iron Lord. Yeah, an undecillion. No, stop with the Astrians. I feel like the fire suit would go well with owning tigers. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get a pet tiger here soon. I just need to get some space for it first. Nah, I'm too cheap to own a tiger. Good day. Way too expensive to feed that big of a cat. If I wanted to feed that big of a cat, I'd get a girlfriend. Right? Meow. Just kidding. <laughs> Things like that get you banned. That's right. That's a ban on Tuesday. Tuesdays when we're doing our collab. I want Diablo oh wait, Thursday. Thursday is the collab. Your character's weapons are small versions of themselves. Their skill animations all involve even more mini versions of themselves. <laughs> Why would you want to own a tiger? Power. A gift to you. Once the Mang song drops, do you think you'll feel empty inside? Yes. No way, man. I still got an Eth Grail to go after. People addicted to proving how powerful they are, and what more powerful way than caging a powerful beast? Fun! Five gifted Sabrinos. As they say in Argentina. Thank you. Where's the fire suit? Wants to own a llama, a tiger for power. Llama is a villain. <laughs> I am an INTJ, as is 90% of the people in this chat. Because we're all in IT, and we all work or love Diablo 2. <laughs> you 
You're an INTJ, an INFJ, an INTP. Like, that's it. That's what you are. Where can I take you? <laughs> yep, there's the INFJs and INTJ. Yep, that's it, man. <laughs> I actually am too. I know. <laughs> IT and video games attract a certain <laughs> style. The fire suit is the source of strength. Llama strives to bring out even more potential of the fire suit so that he can become a llama who is worth of the fire suit. <laughs> MBTI is not a good indi predictive indicator, which is a very INTJ thing to say. It is. It is. Good day. <laughs> so. lovely I can pretend it's not a good predictive indicator but at the same time when I walk around IT and everybody is there that I work with and they're all the exact same and everybody in this stream is all the exact same that seems a pretty good indicator to me Look at the first image. Yep, it's two dudes playing StarCraft <laughs> in an office <laughs> with Star Wars. Yep, uh, fitting. Where can I take you? I love teleport in this game, but I think it does work better on in like a charges format or something, you know. Well, I'm currently active duty military, but I do love Diablo 2, but I did major in accounting. I am over... Accounting is also very, uh, very much in that field, I feel like. Because I, I have a huge interest in accounting. I almost got a major in accounting, to be honest. I was looking at majoring in... Accounting and um, computer science, but the crossover was so bad because to get a major in accounting, they were like, you need to take languages. And I was like, do you have Romanian? And they were like, no, we don't offer that. It was just a whole mess. And so there was all these prereqs that they had that had nothing to do with accounting um, that you know I would have had to take for that major. And I was like, can't we just transfer some of my CS prereqs over and whatever stuff? But they wouldn't do it. Romanian. Wait, what did I say? I meant Korean. Oops. Korean. Freudian slip, my bad. <sighs> Fresh meat. Spawn with five more gifted subs. Thank you, Spawn. Let's see some love in the chat. 
for spawn there. It's very thoughtful. Your presence honors me. It was a Freudian slip, all right. Borderline ENT, INTJ here. Of course you are, Evo. You're in IT. <laughs> of course you are. Dang, 192010. That's better than mine. I have an 181810. And I have a 2189 and a 1829 or 10. No, not 10. 9. Yeah. Uh, Gigi is Romanian. One of our viewers. And Frozen as well. See? So I just heard Frozen talking and that was it. Got me confused. Alright. <laughs> Take a chill. Chill pill, George. Some love for South Africa. I just had South African food last month. It was delicious. Man, I forget some of those clips. Bossy Llama Chill, that's right. I've been streaming for five years and a few months. Crazy. Feels like just yesterday I'd been streaming for five years and a month. Good day. Crazy how time flies. When was the last ski trip? I didn't go this year because by the t I was going to be going late. I was planning for late March or early April to go. And then COVID hit. So I didn't get to go. So I was really sad about that. Should have gone earlier. I am Ski at LamaCon next year? That would be a pretty expensive LamaCon. I mean, hey, I'm down. If y'all want to have a massive LamaCon in the Rockies, let's do it. But that's going to be expensive. Skiing is not cheap. It is... Pricey. And then like renting a place out there as well would be pretty pricey. So... If we did that sort of trip, it would be like... You'd have to probably expect to drop 1500 for everything. Flights and housing and ski pass and whatever, gear rental, maybe a little more. Depends how cheap you do it, but... Skiing isn't so bad, it's going up the mountain that's expensive. True. Due to budgetary concerns, LamaCon has been moved from a ski resort to a Zoom meeting at the local Denny's Kappa. That's right. So, no, LamaCon will probably be in Dallas. 
I'll just get a... Go rent a little mansion for a weekend or something. Or a, a week. I don't know how long we'd make it. Three days, probably. That seems like a long enough time. Highland Park Mansion? Nah, we don't need to go to those ones. Go somewhere that's a little further out. Oh, Camel's buying? Well, in that case, we're going to cater Chipotle with the guac. Blue Llama Con Edition. Your presence honors me. We'll play Pin the Restraining Order on the Llama. If I'm buying Llama Con, it's going to be a camping trip with all the rot gut whiskey you can drink, Lord. <laughs> It's not a fun little game. You have to come in and sit down with a lot of evidence and prove your case. If you want to pin that on me. Camping trip. <laughs> that sounds fun still. Maybe we can get Botez to come to Lamacon. Hmm. He'd have to ask his wife, though, if he could leave. Maybe. Good day. Then he could he could be the grill dad. We'll do little grill outs in the back. Forget Llama Con. When's Camel Con? I can't carry anymore. Eh, nobody's going to that one. Sounds miserable. Today we're gonna set up some virtual servers. Ugh. Why did I pronounce it Botez? It's Botez? How am I... Am I... How are you supposed to say it? I'm not hearing the difference. Botez? Is it with an S? Like in pronunciation? Yeah, I'm American. I don't know how to say things. I pronounce it like an American would pronounce it. Exclamation mark YouTube, I have like a Newbie Tuesdays, how to play Diablo 2 beginner's guides and playlist and things like that on my channel. Kansas and Arkansas. Why not our Kansas? Oh, Anna was so cute. <laughs> yeah, she was like, okay, where is Kansas? Oh, uh, I think it's here. Okay, now where is our Kansas? <laughs> I was dying, man. You pronounce it like in like you would Oliver, a clear O. That's ah though. Not it's not Oliver. So you're saying it's Batas?
I feel like I've never heard her say Botez Gambit. She says Botez Gambit. Where can I take you? I'm just saying. Oh, oops. I'm already here. Summoner run is on Sunday. Rainbow run was yesterday. It was good. We finished in nine hours. Summoner run, I have no clue how long it's going to take. I'm, I'm scared. Mommy. Thank spawn you, Spawn. 8,426 gifted a tier one sub to Ben this time. Appreciate that. Doesn't show my skills. What doesn't? Oh. You're not talking to me. Gotcha. <laughs> Do I like Dave Chappelle? Yeah, he's pretty funny. Funny guy, you know? Now everything's about you, Nose Doctor. <laughs> sniffing out the Mang Song's lesson right now. Instead, we're actually sniffing out trash drops again. Ugh. Really disappointing. I forgot just how bad, like, lame drop days can be. Two in a row now. Just don't talk about camel urine and stuff, George, that's all. Just keep it not weird, and you're fine. I'm gonna surround it out with a rare Archon staff? Don't even. Good day. I wish the fire suit had a hat. What? Why would there be a hat with this outfit? It doesn't even make sense. For the set bonus. Okay, now it makes sense. That's a fair point. Play more? Not even finding good bases. Like, where's the Hydra bows? Where's the Cor Coronas? Where's the Caduceuses? Where's the... Anything. We got a rare Sacred Armor. That one time. Why the suit? Uh, chat reached 100 subs yesterday, so I wear it the next day if we reach 100 subs. Bad seed. We just started this seed. Ooh. 
Good drops are in the pit. I actually don't even know what my pit map looks like on this character now. Because we just reset our maps today. This shirt give me life steal, it gives me fire damage. And resistance. Good night, Lily. Good. Give me the main song's lesson. Just got to hell. Dang, it's hard. Any tips? Go watch my video. Um, hell guided playthrough, sorceress edition. That'll have all that you need right there. But basic tips are resistances. And skipping things you can't kill. Plus to life and trying to be safe in certain areas. A gift for you. Let's make this dream come true. I like mage and warrior. To be honest. Thank you, Danzel. Helping the dream come true. Appreciate that. Why is there still the Necro Gear on? Because I'm playing Pluggy right now, so. Pluggy doesn't like show any gear for 1.3. I'm so knowledgeable for a magic finder. I'm a speedrunner and magic finder and I've done a lot of things in this game. We have a lot of hours in this game doing a lot. <laughs> can't yeah, Frozen Orb's honestly really nice for a dual spec. Hmm. I wake up. I need to go do some exercise. Did I PvP at any point? Briefly. My PvP is my weakest um, aspect. I never like studied hardcore PvP, joined any hardcore leagues. I made a you know bunch of characters I would duel with and have fun, but it was mostly just fun. You know, go into dual games and screw around. So, that's probably my limited expertise. Will it drop today? I hope so. But we're running out of time. This is going to be a short stream today. We're already at three hours. I'm going to go over to my parents pretty soon, so. Have we made a rainbow sorceress? Yes. That is on uh, YouTube as well. Go to my parents. Yep. Say ciao. Will do. I'll say chat says it's ciao. Ooh, fourteen percent ED. It's not bad.
Give it a roll, see what happens. Stream going to my parents in the fire suit. My mom would laugh, my dad would say, what the heck are you wearing? Get that off. Take that off. You look stupid. You look, you, you look, you look, you look dumb. Take that off. What are you doing? It's, it's ridiculous. Come on. Put on clothes, you know. Go get a haircut, too. He wouldn't be wrong. Colon D. Actually, wait, D colon. That one. Wrong way. And don't forget to shave. Yeah, he'll also say that, too. You met my dad, haven't you? Uh, okay, let's check out the Grand Charm. Trash. Nope, give me back my Berserker Axe. There it is. Do my parents do the Italian, Italian hand gestures when they talk? Yes. We're Italian. <laughs> All of us talk with our hands in my family. If you go to dinner, you think that uh, it's a bunch of deaf people talking to each other, is all I'm going to say. Your presence honors me. Looks like everybody's signing at the same time. Toto's second best weapon for a blue source. You could say that if you want. I mean, it's pretty darn good, so. I mean, Oculus gives you the magic find, but Hodo's better. You get all those reds from Hodo, which is so nice. I stream my next family dinner? Probably not. I don't think my family would be down for that. <laughs> yeah, you also don't get the random telly. I look fired up today. Thank you. Do my parents know it's only Mang songs left? Nah, they don't. They can barely remember what game I play half the time. How's the uh, Fortnite going or whatnot? I saw a guy on, I saw a ninja guy and he was playing it and he was on Oprah. Him and Ellen did a dance together. Is that what you do or how does this work? How many bits to wear it to the family dinner? How many bits for you to wear the fire suit to family dinner? We don't need that to happen. We don't need that to happen. I can't carry anymore. Oh, yeah, Ellen's horrible, right? If you haven't found Mang Songs by the end of 2020, find another family! Ouch. Big ouch. Come here, boss. Ooh, painful. 
Somebody was dual enchanted. Yeah, I'm changing my shirt. Tell us about the new game you're streaming. Hey. Diablo 2, is it? Exactly. Mm, Grist shield, nice and doable. Ballista. Two uniques. Just like that run yesterday. So many uniques. Oh my god, and sets. That was a, that was crazy, all the MF we were dropping everything. I wasn't even wearing magic find gear either. Stuff was just dropping. He robbed. Was it not? Alright, let's do one more and then I gotta go to my parents. Oh, come on, one more for Mangs. Hello, Anthonius. Let's get something. And then we will be back on Sunday with a Hell Hardcore Summon Necro. <sighs> and take that bad boy as far as we can. Thank you, Tom, Help me. for the Band sub. Iron Ward. Not doing that. <laughs> That's right, Meg. Come on. Come on. Mangs, Mangs, right here. I've been so sick. Where am I going? Parents' house. Oh, all right. Yeah, Hell Hardcore Summon Necro on Sunday. GG, everybody. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good time. I know it's a short stream. We've been doing a lot of long streams. This is, we've been doing a lot. Um, yeah. I will see you guys later. Let's go hang out with Anna. A, a different Anna. Peace out, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Yeah, I, I think it gets worse, s and <laughs> I think it gets worse. All right, bye, guys.